Hi everyone, I'm Hannah Rosanelli. Welcome back to Meditation March. Thank you so much for joining me. I can't believe it's already week three, so we are gonna dive right in and keep going. I mentioned briefly during our intro week, we just started to touch on the idea that different organs have different tendencies or different energies. With the heart and the liver, we talked about sometimes these organs run a little on the warm side. So this whole week, we're actually going to be talking about heat and fire. So we have four different elements, which are all associated with this idea of heat and fire and producing heat in the body and keeping the body warm. Sometimes they do have a tendency to overheat, as we did mention during intro week. So this week we are going to dive into the heart first, followed by the small intestine. The pericardium, if you haven't taken anatomy in a while, is a protective sac around the heart, so it's very closely related to the heart. And then we'll be finishing with the triple warmer, which is not an organ at all, but it's a concept in traditional Chinese medicine of these warming systems in our core. So we have our heart and our lungs up in the chest is the first one. The second one is the middle warmer, which is the stomach, kind of in that middle area. And then the lowest one is lower bladder, kidney, reproductive organs. If you really enjoyed the live series that we did last week, then you'll want to stay tuned because we are going to be doing an entire series on all four of these fire organs in June. So fire is also associated with summertime. We see that with heat. This is the time of year when we have the most heat in the air. And so summer is associated with heat and fire. And so to ring in the summer in June this year, we're going to be doing another live series of meditations focusing on these four organs again. So you'll want to stay tuned because we have that coming up in just a couple of months, which is very exciting. Today we are going to be talking about the heart. We did do a day on the heart during intro week, so I'll make sure there's a link to that video in the description if you want to go back and learn more. But otherwise, for today we are going to be doing a couple of stretches to open up our heart meridian, which starts, this is one of my favorites. You'll see why if you go back and watch that other video, but the heart meridian starts under the arm in the armpit so i always say the shoulders guard the heart they're the gateway to the heart and in chinese medicine they acknowledge this our underarms are the beginning of our heart channel and then it runs down the inside of our arms ending at our pinky finger so to open up our hearts a little bit we're going to be doing some shoulder openers today we've been doing a lot on the hips but we're going to shift up to the shoulders for the heart today our first pose, you have two choices. We're going to start with a puppy pose or a melting heart, if you're familiar with that one. Or you can take child's pose if this is a little bit too intense for you. And if you get halfway through and you need to back off, then just sit back into a child's pose. Otherwise, you're going to start on your hands and knees. Stay upright on your knees and begin to stretch your hands out in front of you and drop your heart open toward the earth for a really nice opening across the chest. As always, keep a couple of pillows, blankets, or towels very close by. So if you do drop into a child's pose, you can have some nice support and it's not too much on your hips. So right now you should be in this position. Bring your awareness into your body and slowly begin to tune into your breath. And we will begin a body scan, starting from the center of your left armpit. Notice your left armpit. Bring your attention down the inside of your arm, past the inner corner of your left elbow, down the inside of the wrist, across the palm, and up the inside of your pinky finger. Now get a sense of where along that line catches your attention. Don't overthink it. Just direct your attention to the first place that speaks to you. Perhaps there is an area where you feel sensation or an amplified signal. Wherever it is, really focus on it. 
Imagine that you could trace the boundary of it. Is it moving or is it still? Is it shallow, like on the surface of the skin or deep in the viscera, closer to the spine? Review the boundary again. Where is the upper part and where is the lower part? below which the sensation isn't really of interest. How far does it go to the left? And how far to the right? We call this having a complete experience of a physical phenomenon, without judgment, without interpretation. In today's practice, we will have two targets of our attention one on the left and one on the right. This is the target on the left. Now let's shift. Bring your attention to your right foot. Feel the weight of your right foot against the surface. Feel the temperature of the air around your foot. Feel the texture of the surface. In slow motion, wiggle your toes. Count your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Press the ball of your foot down. Does it make contact with the surface? Or is it surrounded by space? And press into your heel. Does it make contact with the surface or is it surrounded by space? Now pretend that you have a magic marker and a piece of cardboard. Place the cardboard underneath your foot and begin to trace your foot, starting at the big toe, going around the ball of the foot, down the arch, around the heel, up the outer side of the foot, up to the little toe, and counting the toes again as you trace your way back to the big toe. Now we are ready for another shift. Direct your attention back to the target, the first place you were observing, and just hold curiosity. Is it the same, or is it slightly different? It's like you're taking inventory. What is present in this location now? It could be exactly the same. It could be a little different. It could be totally different. It could have disappeared altogether and now somewhere else along that line is lighting up. If you are in a supported child's pose, go ahead and turn your head to the other side. If you're in a melting heart, bring your hips to your heels, grab your pillows, and come into a supported child's pose. Stretch your arms out in front of you for a nice opening through your underarms, and turn your head either to the right or the left. I will cue you when it's time to switch sides. Now we will begin a scan on the right starting from the center of your right armpit, going down the inside of your right arm, through the inner corner of your elbow, down the inside of the wrist, across the palm, and up the inside of the pinky finger. Once again, notice where your attention is drawn. Imagine the boundary. Where is the upper edge and the lower edge? How far does it go to the right and to the left? Just notice. Is it moving or is it still? Sometimes things will be dense and block-like. 
other times they can be swirling or drifting and you're just noticing, not trying to change it, not trying to figure it out, not asking why. Is it shallow or is it deep? Shallow would be on the outer surface and deep would be somewhere way in the body. Do you have a sense of what color it is? What sound it might make? How dense it might be? If you have not done so already, turn your head to face the other side. Now let's shift. Bring your attention to your left foot. Feel the weight of your left foot against the surface. Feel the temperature of the air around your foot. Feel the texture of the surface. In slow motion, wiggle your toes. Count your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Press the ball of your foot down. Does it make contact with the surface? Or is it surrounded by space? And press into your heel. Does it make contact with the surface? Or is it surrounded by space? Now pretend that you have a magic marker and a piece of cardboard. Place the cardboard underneath your foot and begin to trace your foot, starting at the big toe, going around the ball of the foot, down the arch, around the heel, up the outer side of the foot, up to the little toe, and counting the toes again, tracing back to the big toe. Now shift your attention back to the target on the right. Is it still there? If so, is it the same? Or is it different? Just taking inventory. What is present in this location now? Now we will have a shift into our second position. Slowly bring yourself into a seated position. Find the space on the inside of your wrist, below your pinky finger, just to the inside of the tendon. Use your thumb to apply pressure. Continue to apply pressure until you feel sensation, but not so much that it becomes painful. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. And we'll repeat on the right for five, four, three, two, one. Now you should have one block and two pillows. From a seated position, stretch your legs out in front of you, place the block on its shortest setting, and begin to lower yourself onto your back. The block will support your upper back between your shoulder blades, and you can use one or two pillows to support your head. Let your arms fall out to the side. Take a moment to get comfortable and then close your eyes. Direct your attention back to the first target, the one we identified on the left side of the body. Is it still there? If so, is it the same? Or is it different? If it's not there anymore, begin a body scan starting from the center of your left armpit. Notice your left armpit. Bring your attention down the inside of your arm. 
past the inner corner of your left elbow, down the inside of the wrist, across the palm, and up the inside of the pinky finger. Stop at the first place that speaks to you and give it your undivided attention. Imagine the boundary. Where is the upper edge and the lower edge? How far to the left does it go and how far to the right? Is it moving or is it still? How dense is it? Does it feel heavy or light? Is it superficial or is it deep? What color is it? What does it sound like? Don't judge, don't interpret, simply hold curiosity and listen. Now let's shift, bring your attention to your right foot. Feel the weight of your right foot against the surface. Feel the temperature of the air around your foot. Feel the texture of the surface. In slow motion, wiggle your toes. Count your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Press the ball of your foot down. Does it make contact with the surface or is it surrounded by space? And press into your heel. Does it make contact with the surface or is it surrounded by space? Now pretend that you have a magic marker and a piece of cardboard. Place the cardboard underneath your foot and begin to trace your foot, starting at the big toe, going around the ball of the foot, down the arch, around the heel, up the outer side of the foot, up to the little toe, and counting the toes again as you trace your way back to the big toe. Now direct your attention back to the target on the left. Is it still there? If so, is it the same? Or is it different? Now we'll shift your attention back to the target on the right. Is it still there? If so, is it the same? Or is it different? If it's not there anymore, starting from the center of your right armpit, go down the inside of your right arm, past the inner corner of the elbow, down the inside of your wrist, across the palm, and up the inside of the pinky finger. Stop on the first place that speaks to you and give it your attention. Imagine the boundary. Where is the upper edge and the lower edge? How far to the left does it go and how far to the right? Is it moving or is it still? How dense is it? Does it feel heavy or light? Is it superficial or is it deep? What color is it? What does it sound like? Now let's shift. Bring your attention to your left foot. Feel the weight of your left foot against the surface. Feel the temperature of the air around your foot. Feel the texture of the surface. 
In slow motion, wiggle your toes. Count your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Press the ball of your foot down. Does it make contact with the surface? Or is it surrounded by space? And press into your heel. Does it make contact with the surface? Or is it surrounded by space? Now pretend that you have a magic marker and a piece of cardboard. Place the cardboard underneath your foot and begin to trace your foot, starting at the big toe, going around the ball of the foot, down the arch, around the heel, up the outer side of the foot, up to the little toe, and counting the toes again, tracing back to the big toe. Now we will have one final shift. Direct your attention to the target on the right. Really notice what is present. Maybe similar, maybe different. And what about the target on the left? Is it the same? Or is it different? Slowly wiggle your fingers and toes to bring yourself back into your body. This completes our practice for today. If you're lying down, very slowly begin to sit up. Thank you for joining me. May you carry light and gratitude with you throughout your day.